Review time. This is a metallurgical microscope, a really handy gadget for looking for things that uh, light doesn't pass through. Uh, for example, I bought one because I study a lot of semiconductors. Uh, it comes from eBay. It happens to be the cheapest one I could get, um, and I thought I'd review it. It's actually a pretty decent little unit. It uh, comes in uh, well under 400 American dollars. Uh, if you're not familiar what a metallurgical microscope is, uh, it has an illuminator on this side here through the tube. Basically, it pushes lights uh, downwards through the tube. There's an interesting construction optically, which allows light to pass one direction and the image to come back the other. And we'll get into that in a minute. Um, it says when you're looking at metallurgical samples, of course, uh, other than like a traditional microscope where you push light upwards through the sample, you can't do that. So that's what that gadget here is. Always comes with a power supply. Uh, they have a halogen bulb here. A uh, 6 volt halogen bulb, a bit unusual. Uh, 12 volts is a little more common in North America, but no matter. Uh, you turn the uh, power supply on, as you could imagine, the light turns on, and uh, then you can sort of see the samples. Uh, let me go through all the features of the uh, microscope. So definitely a build to order. You can uh, order it with uh, binocular, trinocular, or a, a monocular. I use just a monocular because I inevitably replace the eyepiece and put a camera onto it uh, for some of the photography that I do. Uh, I splashed out for something called a polarizing filter down here. I can put, pull it out if I want maximum light, or I can push it in and put a polarizer through. And they can drop a polarizer here as well, and actually uh, you can really adjust the uh, quality of photographs. You see, uh, metallurgical microscope uh, seems to have lots of adjustments for light, which is very important. The stand itself uh, is really heavyweight. It's uh, made out of some sort of cast metal, and uh, it's reasonably heavy. Um, it's a nice compact little unit, uh, but uh, it's see, fairly rigid uh, when you're doing actual applications. So this is the illuminator, as I mentioned. There's a halogen bulb inside here. And there's two adjustments, and uh, this one here actually adjusts the amount of light that goes in. There's actually a little aperture, and let me just insert a picture of it moving back and forth. And then there's also a slot here for a filter, and it comes with a number of filters. One's green, one's a polarizing filter, and one I think is something called a neutral density filter. There's a number of really interesting construction details in any microscope, but this one's no different. For example, you need, obviously need the light to always line up through all these uh, various bits of uh, mechanics. And uh, you see this sort of dovetail shape here, and then a circle here, and there's three set screws. And of course, you put the head down, you can put these to put the uh, head exactly in center, and then you tighten down this set screw. Uh, it's an extremely effective uh, approach to actually aligning up optics, and uh, obviously dead simple. The illuminator is a multi-piece assembly. Uh, this head here looks like it has sort of a half-silvered mirror, and it pushes the light downwards. And... Uh, gets it so the beam of the light comes down one direction, the image only comes back the other. So the portion here which holds the filter and has a shutter, let me just see if I can get a light flashlight down it so you can sort of see, it's sort of like a camera shutter, an aperture you can open up and close and adjust the amount of that light that's desired. And the last uh, bit that's uh, in this assembly is simply just a holder for this uh, halogen bulb and it obviously goes off to a uh, power supply. So here's the uh, view of the polarizer. You, you, know, you can just see I can pull it out, and uh, it uh, then actually has no filter there, it's just simply an opening. And if I push it in, there's a polarizer, and of course you can rotate it and, and polarize the light as desired. Uh, that was an actual optional extra when you order it. The microscope objectives seem to be pretty standard. They all have blue bands, which I think means that they're meant specifically for this purpose, but um, my previous microscope that I purchased, an Omax, uh, it comes from China, those objectives slide into this uh, assembly just as well, so I presume all of this must be quite universal. One thing that's pretty critical when you buy one of these is to make sure you get a mechanical stage because the samples are very small and you have to move them around. Uh, this is actually a very nice uh, mechanical stage. The rack and pinion is quite well considered. Uh, obviously, you can see you can move it up and down, and then uh, this adjustment side to side. And because you can do it with a single hand, it's actually got some pretty good ergonomics to it. So, uh, this is a really nice uh, bit of uh, kit. The stage itself, let me just put a side view on it. You can see, unfortunately, it flexes a little bit uh, in this microscope. Now, fortunately, I'm actually uh, looking at really, really light sample semiconductors, but uh, if you're doing a true traditional uh, metal graphic type uh, thing where your samples might be kind of heavy, uh, this might be a little bit weak for that, but for my purposes, it uh, works very well. Power Supply is a uh, model of uh, straightforward design. No UL or CSA listing, because I imported it uh, direct, so if that's of a concern... I guess you could substitute a 6 volt power supply for the bulb. Um, AC entry, uh, a transformer of course. Um, there's a variable potentiometer here. 
uh, that goes down to a little black box. I presume it's uh, just a straightforward linear power supply. Um, and there, of course, the power indicator. And a fairly actually attractive uh, assembly here. It's actually screw locked on with a, a nice uh, connectorization. And uh, so really straightforward power supply. Um, it certainly, from a workmanship viewpoint, looks fine. No listing, of course, on the transformer either, so I don't know if they've done the windings correctly with the right separation, but generally the assembly does look like it's uh, pretty well considered. Okay, well here's just some sample images I've been taking. Uh, all semiconductor dies, because that's uh, what I bought it for. Sort of a classic uh, opaque sample to try to take an image of, and where a metallurgical microscope really uh, does well. Uh, great images in my mind. I'm actually quite pleased uh, for the money I spent. Uh, this is the eBay listing. Uh, the vendor is called Microscope India. Uh, just a touch over $400 for the microscope. I ordered it uh, with expedited shipping and uh, it arrived at my door uh, well under 10 days, so uh, that was uh, quite acceptable. Uh, just to sort of uh, calibrate uh, how cheap this microscope is uh, in the professional space, uh, if you buy a metallurgical microscope from a, a Japanese vendor, uh, easily a five-figure purchase. So uh, for just a little over $400, uh, a heck of a nice addition here uh, to my home workshop.